So Fiji need a big, big effort if they're to get back into this game. South Africa looking pretty solid in the middle of the field there. Short of numbers, so they have to come back this way again towards Rwanga. Umbai looks the man, if anybody, who can turn it. A couple of breaks, he's still going to the line with his headband on there. But they're just running out of numbers. They've been drained by the South African power game. They're struggling to win their own scrum. And at the moment, they're just going from side to side, struggling to find some space. And Gera 7 offloads nicely, though, to Naevo. Giving them the opportunity to develop further down that touchline. And Delasau has the pace. Can he get there in time? Oh, yes! What a try! What a try! The Limoni and Delasau. Third of the competition. What a booty. Just like he did against Wales. There didn't seem to be any space anywhere. Wales conceded it. South Africa have done exactly the same. They're just checking the grounding, I think, here. But there's absolutely no doubt. The South Africans fell asleep on the short side. Montgomery didn't know whether to come and look. He's just stopped. He didn't know what he's doing. He's having an argument with Faria about it. And De La Salle, oh, what a lovely bounce. You thought it was going to go dead, but no, De La Salle, brilliant. Can they kick the conversion and get back to within one score? The South Africans just completely lost concentration. Montgomery and Furry don't know what they were doing. There was nothing on for Fiji. That was absolutely manufactured from nothing. Nigel Owens from Wales is the TVO, the match official. Taking a long time over his decision. Now he only needs to get contact with the ground there. And that's a try, surely. It's a Welshman, he's trying his very best to have a pop at the Fijians. Here comes the decision. Try inevitably is given. Individual brilliance from De La Sarri. Wrestled the game back Fiji's way last week when Martin Williams had taken the interception. And again, something from nothing. The kick ahead, the chip over the top. Yes, he got fortunate with the bounce, but he saw the space, he took his chance. But Faria Montgomery just having a doze. Yours, they shouted, as he runs flying past them. Deserved his luck, didn't he? Oh, we we're very much so. Very much so. They kept on going. They didn't feel as though there was any space. And that's about as much of a celebration as you'll get from Ili Tambua. So Ming Bai bisects the post beautifully. South Africa's seven points have been negated. Game on once more. And they made a lot of substitutions as well as South Africans, so can they adapt to the pace of the game? That boater coming back on must have been a blood bin. Muller had his four or five minutes. Departs again. And they've still got an extra man, South Africa. We take. It's taken cleanly by Fiji. Oh. So they have to open it up again in some bye. Getting away and good support too from Lingeri. Now then, is there another score here from Fiji? Which would really set the kanga from the pigeons. It's Rawaloni. He's Go going on. all the way. Just losing support. What yes. a tackle. Ball's down. It's a try. Unbelievable. What's going on in Two the world? in a minute. Brilliant. From the restart, South Africa fast asleep again. They worked it wide, Umbai wanted it faster. He took him on, he got the offload. Lingiri, you thought he'd turn down the support, but he looked after it. Raul Looney, who's been everywhere, poked and weaved. Thought he had the legs himself. Does he get it down? Yes, Umbobo! The man brought in as a replacement because of injury gets his way over the line for Fiji. Again, Nigel Owens has to give the OK. The crowd know what his decision should be. 
That's the coup de grace, but the build-up was simply brilliant. Fareed, good despairing tackle, but momentum carries him over. The only question, did the, the South African get his hand under the ball? No chance. Try. Come on, stop wasting time. The Fijians are on a roll, they want three in three minutes. Are we on the point of another major upset in this most remarkable of World Cups? Who wants to win a group? Come second, it's the way to the final. Havana, in turn, like his counterparts in New Zealand and Australia, just can't believe what's going on all the time. They're down to 14 men. Who needs 15? <laughs> One of Fiji's best players is missing, and they're stuffing the South Africans with 14 men. A length of the field try. Umbai does the honours. 100%, four from four. Well, let's get back down to Mickey Little. What do you make of it now, I wonder? Mickey, Li Mickey Little, they can't see you at home, but there are tears in your eyes, aren't there? It's hard, to, it's hard to describe quite how the boys have turned this around. I mean, what's been the key? Um, this is Fiji style. This is what I'm talking about. This is what you're talking about, Fiji style. Is this going to be Fiji's day, Nikki? I don't know. It is at the moment. I'll tell you what, Bob. Nikki is finding it hard to speak. The emotions are running extremely high down here. I am not at all surprised, Ned.